How do you learn a subject or skill in half the time? Let's do this together. I want you to right now think of a subject or skill that you just want to learn fast. You want to learn it rapidly at an accelerated rate. You want to learn faster so you can achieve faster. I want you to remember four letters, F-A-S-T, F-A-S-T, fast. And the F stands for forget. You're like, Jim, you're this world-class memory expert. You're this coach to all these celebrities and CEOs. Why are you starting with forgetting? You want to forget what you already know about the subject so you can learn something brand new. Often a lot of people don't learn faster because they feel like their cup is full and they feel like they know it already. So always remember to start with the beginner's mind. I would also say forget about what's going on in the world and anything that's not urgent and important in your world because if you try to think about things that are going on and be present, you can't do that. And you're only using a fraction of your own potential if you're distracted. I would also say forget about your limitations because you don't know what you don't know. Often people will see me on stage memorize 100 people's names or 100 words, numbers backwards and forwards and I always tell you, I don't do this to impress you, I do this to express to you what's really possible because the truth is you could do it too. Regardless your age, your background, your education, you're just not taught how to do it. If anything, you were taught a lie, a lie that somehow your intelligence, your memory, your learning is somehow fixed like your shoe size. But we know that your learning is absolutely limitless. So set your limitations aside and forget about them. The A in FAST stands for active. What do I mean by active? If you feel overloaded with too much to learn and too little time, like do you have books on your shelf you haven't read yet? You get more than 10 emails a day? You listen to podcasts, there's so much information out there. But if you feel like you're stressed, like you can't keep up, here's the thing, it's not your fault. You know why? It's because we all grew up with the 20th century education that prepared us for a 20th century world, which at the turn of the century was working in factories and farms. But now we live in an age of autonomous electric cars and spaceships that are going to Mars. But our vehicle of choice when it comes to learning is like a horse and buggy. And one of the challenges is our schools train us to be very passive. Sit quietly by yourself, be lectured to, just consume information. But your brain doesn't learn based on consumption, it learns through creation. And so learn is not a spectator sport. You have to get involved. You have to take great notes. You have to ask lots of questions. There's so many things you could do to be more active. The S in FAST stands for state. What do I mean by state? I mean the current mood of your mind and your body. Because here's the key to a better memory. Information combined with emotion becomes a long-term memory. Information combined with emotion becomes a long-term memory. What do I mean by that? Is there a song or a fragrance or a food that could take you back to when you were a child? Of course, because information combined with that emotion becomes a long-term memory. The challenge back in school is what was the driving emotion you had back in school? For most people, they were bored, right? And if you times anything by zero, what do you get? You get zero. So most people don't remember what they learned back in school because of the state. Remember this, all learning is state dependent. All learning is state dependent. That if you want to learn more, control your state. Now who's in control of your state? You are, because you are a thermostat, you're not a thermometer. What do I mean by that? What does a thermometer do? A thermometer reacts to the environment. It reflects what the environment is giving it. And so we are all thermometers at some point, and that affects our state, right? We react to the weather, we react to the economy, we react to how people treat us. But in reality, where's the locus of focus? Who has the control? You do, because you're a thermostat. A thermostat is different, right? A thermostat sets a vision, it sets a goal, it sets a standard, and what happens to the environment? The environment raises to meet that thermostat. And for you, you want to identify with the thermostat, and the most important thing that you want to have control over is how you feel. I remember recently I got to introduce two of my superheroes together. I talk about superheroes because I grew up with learning challenges from a brain injury. I taught myself how to read. It took me three years longer to learn how to read. I taught myself how to read, by reading comic books late at night. Something about the superhero story really brought it to life for me. And recently I got to introduce two of my superheroes together. It was Sir Richard Branson and Stan Lee. Stan Lee, not Stan Lee, Stan Lee. The co-creators of Spider-Man, Avengers, X-Men, Fantastic Four. And I remember asking Stan Lee, I said, Stan, who's your favorite superhero? And he says, Iron Man. And he says, Jim, who's your favorite superhero? And he had this Spider-Man tie I posted on Instagram. And I was like, Spider-Man. And without a pause, he went, with great power comes great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. You've heard that, right? And I went to him, I said, Stan, you're right. With great power comes great responsibility. And the opposite is also 
also true. With great responsibility comes great power. When we take responsibility for something, we have great power to make it better. And I think the most important responsibility we have is controlling how we feel. How do you get into that state of curiosity, of excitement? I mean, that who are the fastest learners on the planet? They're children, right? Children have this wonder. One of my favorite quotes is from Rumi, he says, trade your cleverness for bewilderment. Trade your cleverness for bewilderment. And finally, the T in fast, if you wanna learn any subject or skill faster, learn it as if you're gonna teach it to somebody else. Because when you're learning it to teach it, then you're gonna pay attention differently. Then you're gonna make it your own. Then you're gonna remember it differently. Because here's the thing, when you teach something, you get to learn it twice. Hi, my name is Jim Quick, and growing up I was labeled the boy with a broken brain with all these learning challenges and disabilities. And I went from that to become the world's leading memory and brain coach for the world's top universities, CEOs, and celebrities. Over the past 25 years, I've developed all these strategies and techniques to unleash the power of your super brain. I want to share these techniques and methods with you. I hope you'll join me.